For this mixture of gases, we need to find the specific heat capacities Cv and Cp. So specific means we are talking about per gram. So the Cv for example, what we need to find is energy given per gram of the gas to raise its temperature by 1 Kelvin at fixed volume. And similarly Cp. So we know how to calculate our normal heat capacities and from there we will just divide by molecular mass to get specific heat capacities. Because our normal heat capacities are for per mole and if we divide that by molecular mass we will get it in per gram. So Cv we have already seen this in previous problem. So Cv we can write like this and basically N1C1 plus N2C2 upon N1 plus N2 and Cp will be N1 into Cp1 plus N2 into Cp2 upon N1 plus N2. So we'll just put the values and this will be Cv and Cp but this is for per mole Kelvin. And also you need not do this, uh, you need not, uh, I mean if you have found Cv, you can just add R to it, gas constant and then you can directly also write Cp. I have just, just done it with both the methods. Now specific heat capacity, so as discussed, we will divide it by the molar molecular mass of the mixture. So how do we calculate that? So that is total mass upon total number of moles. So total mass is given as 7 plus 20 and total number of moles will be 7 upon 28 plus 20 upon 40. So we will just divide them by their molecular masses. So here this is for the nitrogen molecule. So it will be N2 So because the so gas is diatomics that is why we are writing 28. So you do that and you will get the molecular mass of the mixture as 36. So we already found Cv and Cp. Divide both of them with their molecular masses, sorry molecular mass of the mixture and you will get your specific heat capacities. Joules per gram Kelvin. All right.